Hey everybody, Dan here with No Games for Old Men. Welcome back to Phantom Brigade. At the end of last episode, we constructed a new mech frame. And I'd like to build that now. I think the one thing we have to decide, though, is what we want this roll to be. And I'm thinking a light, fast mech with a shotgun. So the only light armor torso that I've got right now here is the Subasa, which has not a whole lot of integrity, but it's got 238 barrier. So, I mean, really, that's 360 total health. The barrier does recharge, but that's going to be a big dip in... Uh, torso integrity. What we can do, though, is possibly see if we can apply some mods that will increase increase that for us. Now, we do have a total of 1,018 with all the parts currently connected. So, we're going to be changing these out, though. So, I want to see if there's any other... Uh, mods that we can add. So the the precision mod reduces scatter, but if we're going with a shotgun, then I don't think that we really need that quite so much, right? So maybe we... Is there another reactor offensive? Okay, so the only mods that I've got available here are the sensors. So... Range... So hybrid sensor, being able to add range to my shotgun, that would be that would be helpful. So the, these two are identical. It's interesting interesting that they're not grouped. You know, they're not right next to each other. They look identical to me. Yeah, so we're just going to apply one. Uh, reactor. Remember, we want this guy to be fast and light. Heat dissipation 12. Barrier regeneration 55. That's... That's useful. Heat capacity. We also want good heat capacity. The, ooh. Barrier regeneration 110. So this R4 overdrive looks good as well. As does the standard. But what is the standard... The overdrive does has a hundred heat capacity and a little more power. So actually, I feel like the overdrive reactor is probably the best one at the moment. Let's just slot that for now, and then we'll see what the rest of these do. So so restoration would be good too. Don't need focused. Take off. Power generator, heat dissipation. Okay, I think the overdrive would be is a good one. Okay, so let's look at. I need to get some higher quality uh, mods too. All right, so let's take a look at the legs. Let's see, we want light potentially. Uh, here are some Subasa legs. Those actually, ooh, much lighter integrity than the Elbrus by a considerable amount, but almost 200 um, barrier, so 176. Reduces my mass, improves my heat dissipation. So right now, if I'm looking at this, I've got, I can shoot Oh, let's pick the let's pick the shotgun. Uh, so I've already got this filtered. I think I want to go with the uh, the SG3 heavy because it does a lot of kinetic. It also does good concussion damage. So the the thought is with this guy too because he's going to be light and fast to get him around behind enemy mechs, blast to get the concussion damage, and then get out of there. So let's apply this now so that all of my uh, my heat, my action cooldowns here are, are accurate 
compared to the, based on the weapon that I want to be using. So this right now, it looks like I would be able to fire twice per five second turn. So if I could get that down a bit, that would be really nice. So that's kind of what we're looking for. So that's why I'm looking down here at heat, heat dissipation would go up. So action 1.9. Dissipation would go up to 43.9 from 41.3. Uh, no change here with the arrow. And again, I could keep... Let's see, do I have any other light? Nope, the Subasa is... That is it. So let's, let's apply those for the moment. And let's see, composite plate is 8% barrier and integrity, but adds 15% to your mass. So right now we're a medium class basic plate. Wait a minute, what? Ah, okay, basic plate doesn't affect barrier at all. Light plate reduces everything. So if I were to apply that, that would do what to me? It'd speed me up a bit. Just by one. So I think I, maybe I want to keep the composite plate on here. Well, no, that only adds two to my integrity. That's, that's not a huge difference. So maybe the boost and speed would be preferable. So let's stick with that for now. So left arm. Let's see what left arms we've got available to us. Scroll down here to the bottom where we've got our light arms. Another increase in heat dissipation. Or, uh, heat dissipation. Yes, that's good. Ooh. This one... Improved barrier and heat dissipation, but reduction in speed. The Nox 1L actually improves my speed. I think I like this one better because it also improves integrity. Lowers my mass, makes me faster. Let's go with this for the left arm. And we're going to keep the light plate. The right arm. I could go with this. This would be another boost to heat dissipation. Reduction in mass and improve to speed. Our integrity would go down pretty significantly, though. But our barrier would go up by about half as much as the reduction in integrity, which, ugh, that's not a great trade off. Hmm. Maybe I can boost that with. Maybe the composite plate. Let's see what this does. 733. And 498 for barrier. Okay. We could give this one a try. Let's give it a try. So let's paint... Paint our buddy here. I don't like this color. Some of these colors are a little aggressive. That one's alright. And let's do a full body paint. Uh, let's do something light. Oh god, that's... That's kind of hideous. 
maybe I do go with this. I kind of feel like maybe I sh maybe I need a a company paint job now. It's been I mean we've recovered or liberated four provinces by now. And I feel like narratively maybe there would be a, you know, some more cohesion with the Phantom Brigade's units. Ooh, I like this too. Kind of like that. So what if we do that and then like left arm maybe left upper arm is something like a a brighter color. Hmm. I don't want it to be too bright. Like, not gaudy. Like, not like that. That's, that's a little... That's a bit much. Well, we can workshop this. I think maybe for now we'll just go with... Go with that. Kind of don't dig the weapon color now, though. Draws too much attention away from the arm color. Alright, we'll go with that. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the Zephyr name for now. I'm not sure what to call this. I'm not sure what to call this mech. Uh, it is currently also pilotless. So while we are here, we've got 951 supplies, so we can recruit a pilot with 200. That would also block us from doing anything for five hours. Zip through that quickly. And bip. Okay, so now that's done. So we've got a new pilot. And let's move. Maybe we head this direction because we've got a, a little side quest there we can do. So we're gonna we're gonna head over here. And let's see who our new pilot is. It is... Currently Laurel Hofstrom. Codename Mike. But... We need to do a... A renaming ceremony, so... Hopefully I have my... My list of names handy here. Okay, next on the list is Kristen. So, let's see, we're gonna edit. We're gonna go... This is now Kristen G. Freeman. And code name is Lone Star. Cool. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's get some faces in here. These are all pretty, uh, pretty squared-looking folks there. Build. Not really seeing a whole lot of change in those variants. Just slight changes in the chin, maybe cheek width. Huh. I don't know, man. G. How many face presets are there? W... 
What does that mean? What is W... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. Definitely not facial hair. Kind of looks like Martin Gore. So that hairstyle is just considered headgear? Oh no, I've gotten headgear deselected. That's what that is. Okay. Oh, got it. Okay, so you can change the... Okay, 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 okay. Let's see... Hmm. A little purplish skin tone there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll just go with that. I'm not here to Ugh, put that away. Okay. All right. New pilot in the ranks. Now let's go back to the map. And as we are traveling, so now we've got. Five units available. Do we want... Actually, is there another one that we can be working on? Or, or maybe a, an upgrade that I can be working on while we're driving. Stealth mode. Comms jamming. Do they have that? Scanner jamming. Oh, okay, comms jamming equips the base with a device interfering with enemy radio and geolocation, which prevents enemy units from entering fights if activated pre-combat. Oh! That could be useful. Okay, I can't build this because I don't have enough components. Stealth mode, and I can't build any of that. Okay, so maybe we won't build anything just yet. Let's let's not spend everything we've got immediately. What was that? Whoa, the sun's coming up. I think. Yep, six o'clock in the morning. Whoosh! All right, so we're buzzing this direction speed up a little bit. Ooh, uh oh. Good news from the home guard out on the front, Commander. Your scout comes to a stop at your side. She tells you that the army numbers have grown beyond their expectations, with people signing on from all over the country. It looks like there's more bodies than they don't know what to do with, she continues. The army have asked us for some assistance. I think we have time to help train some of the rookies. Oh, gosh. All right, train. It's the least you can do. 15, it was take 15 hours. Boost hope by one. Reduce our supplies by 200. And our home guard reputation would go up by two. Send supplies instead. So this would take no time. Would still boost hope by one. Reduce my supplies by 500. Let's... Well, we're, in, we're here in... Friendly territory, so I think we go ahead and do that. This will boost hope, so it should be f five by the time we're done, or maybe it already added five. I didn't add uh, a hope before. I didn't. I didn't look at that. Okay. Well, once that is done, we'll see. All right, boot camp. Last of the rookies ambles away, exhausted but in high spirits. As your crew takes to cleaning up the training area, the army agent comes to a stop at your side. Much appreciated, he says. His face is stoic, but you can tell he's pleased. They'll all be sore in the morning, but getting trained by the Phantom Brigade will power him up through just about anything, I think. 
You part ways with a salute and prepare to get back on the road. Okay, so we've got... Oh, doop a doop a doop What do we have here? We have a camp. So maybe we take this on our way to this cache here. So a small enemy encampment that sends out patrols. Attacking the camp may alert nearby squads, but eliminating all unit groups in the area before reinforcements arrive will allow safe retreat and salvaging. So I think, yeah, I think maybe we just go ahead and jump in here. Eliminate this camp. It's right here on the border, so we don't want... We don't want them sending out units into Vramel. Okay, so we've got a choice to make here. You can only field four. So... Do I give Kilo the day off? And put Lone Star in here. Oh, I didn't give I didn't give the Zephyr a uh, a secondary weapon, did I? Let's see if I can do that. Oh no! Oh, it's a light mech. Is that what it is? Light mechs can only carry one. Doesn't even have a slot for a secondary weapon. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. This is supposed to be a very easy fight, so we'll, we'll put this... We'll, we'll use that opportunity. This will be a training mission for Lone Star. No critical issues blocking deployment. Warnings available for the squad, but does not block employment, but highly recommended? What? This unit can be deployed, but there are some warnings to consider. No secondary item. Consider fielding the unit with a sidearm or secondary equipment. Yeah, isn't that what I was trying to do? It doesn't have a slot for it. What am I under not understanding about that? Oh, there we go. I was in the paint mode. Okay, here, 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 here. Let's go with... Dang, that's a big weapon for a secondary. Do a shield. Hmm. Kind of wish she could use uh, like a missile launcher or something, but I think we'll go with that. There we go. Now we're good. Maybe I'll think of a good name for uh, to rename the Zephyr during this fight. Depending on how it performs. Alright, let's see if we can reclaim Bedrock 9 camp. Alright, pretty small area. We've got a turret here. Looks like there's one here as well. In terms of combat units, I only see one mech and two tanks. So... Let's see, as long as we stay out of the scan range of... this turret, we really only have three enemy units to deal with. Alright, so this ta tank driving in, shooting, at Malachi. Probably gonna want to back Malachi up anyway, because that is way too close for the weapon Malachi has. This tank in the back is just driving. And the mech is running, and they've got oh, they've got a missile launcher. So there's another shot, another attack coming at Malachi. So everything's coming to Malachi. So what we're gonna do. 
We're gonna start. Let's get a dash in here. We're gonna have to get. Uh, who is that? Glitch. We're gonna have to get Glitch out of the way, too. Otherwise, that's gonna be a collision that will be very bad. And we'll get some running in. Uh, let's see, how far does the mech get throughout? So just right there, can I do two dashes without overheating? No, okay, so let's run a little. And then dash again. There we go. And then run around the corner to there. And now you can start blasting with the shotgun at this guy. What? Why... What are you doing? Why are you trying to shoot at that guy? Stop. This one. What is happening? Why is it... There we go. Boom. Gee whiz. That was weird. Alright. Uh, glitch, let's, let's get you... Out of the path here. So you... Your weapon actually has a pretty good range, so let's dash you also up to here. Let's actually dash you this direction. Is that what we want to do? What if we just move you? Um, if we run you down to here... Okay, so is there going to be a collision here? No, okay, good. So I got him out of the way. Just in time. Okay, so then we're gonna get you to here, and then from here you're gonna start shooting. Uh, let's see, do we want... Yeah, I'll start shooting at this enemy tank. By this time, this mech is out of the way. What is blocking that shot, though? Really? So you can hit the tank. The shot at the tank is not blocked by that, by that structure, but this one is? Okay, then let's do this. Let's run him to here. And then from here, you're going to start shooting here. There we go. And you'll be too hot at that point. Alright. Malachi, we're gonna need you to back up. How good is that shot gonna be? If we just leave you here just have you shoot this direction. So, it's gonna be really good to start, but then it's gonna get really bad. <laughs> so, what if we change the attack to be this one in the back? So it, conversely, will be really bad to start, but it will start getting a lot better. Maybe we move it to here, so that you're ending your attack in the best case. There we go. I like that a lot better. Alright, now, Bookworm. Uh, it's too bad you're over here on the right, because I would really like for you to be, like, facing down this tank. So we're going to move you this way 
Oh, that's gonna take your whole move? Alright, what if we dash you? Is that gonna be a collision? Let's see. Bonk! <laughs> yep, that's definitely a collision. Alright, so let's wait you until right about here. Then both of them will be out of the way. Then you're gonna dash to here. Okay, and then from here... You're gonna get in the path. Or do we wait? Maybe we wait. Uh, oh, I can't dash either through here because I'm gonna collide with either the building on either side of me, so that's not great. All right, so let's let's put you in the path of this tank then and have you shield up. So hopefully you can block some attacks from him. Well, he will have stopped shooting by then, won't he? Alright, but maybe he'll crash into you because you are a heavy mech. And if you've got your shield up, maybe he'll he'll crash when he hits you. Let's try that. Um Okay. So Kind of forgot that Malachi was going to be unloading with his Vulcan cannon there. I hope none of those actually hit Bookworm. Uh, it actually looks like all of his shots were being blocked by that building. Oh, yep, got a lot of shots in the hind end there. <laughs> a little bit of friendly fire. A lot of bit of friendly fire, actually. And what happened over here? Oh my gosh. Holy smoke, did Lone Star just annihilate that tank in one shot? Yep, certainly did. And as planned, shielding up against this tank caused it to crash. So we've got a lot of rockets incoming here. So with Malachi, you're gonna you're gonna launch yourself to the side here and get out of the way. Can we do two dashes? For you? We can. Okay, so we, that's what you're doing this turn. You're just getting out of there. I think that would be the best move. And then from here... Yeah, we don't need... We'll just leave you there. Um, actually, maybe we can put you... Just We'll just pop you behind that. There. Are there any shots coming your direction? There aren't. Just the missiles. All right, what is this mech doing? He's just running. Really? That's it? We've got him totally blocked. All right then, glitch. You're gonna back up. Up this hillside. Uh, let's back you up to here, actually. And then from here, now you're gonna start shooting. Plug in this guy. Oh. Overheat. Okay, you're gonna only get two, but if I don't dash you, then if I just run you, are these attacks good still? Yep. And can I get more than one? There we go. Because I'm not dashing, I'm not gonna be overheated. Then I can squeeze in a third one here. Perfect. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I if I start moving him to the side, we'll start getting behind him. If he's shooting while he's running, all these attacks are still going to be at 100%. But now we're getting in behind him, so hopefully get, get some concussion damage. Okay, now... Uh, Bookworm, let's get you to back up a bit while this tank is crashed, and then you're going to melee him. OK, 
Okay, and... Lone Star. Let's move you over here. Oh, wait, that's... Never mind. Let's move you over here. Oh, there's a crash tank in the way. Yeah, I don't want Glitch to be hitting... Hitting her. So, okay, so we will... Uh, we're just gonna wait you, actually. Because I th think... Actually, no, let's run her behind Glitch in this case. Let's actually dash... How is that overheat? Okay, so once she's there... Let's run this way... Boy, look how fast she is. Super fast. Now she can come down... ...and start getting, uh... ...get a uh, shotgun blast on this guy here. Can we get a second one? Nope. Okay. That's everybody. Let's do it! I probably should have left him where he was, because that was kind of weird. Oh! Whoa! Okay, let's let's check uh, what happened here. Wow. Okay, a lot of those actually hit. And Bookworm took annihilated that tank. And unfortunately, that turret managed to launch a lot of rockets. But did it self destruct? What hit? What did it do? Did shots from Glitch take it out? Yeah, looks like it. Looks like they missed the mech and hit the building right below the turret and destroyed its foundation. Okay, and this mech's shield arm is gone now. Alright, so this should just be... This should be a simple matter here. Uh, what is he going to do? He's attacking... Okay, so he's attacking Lone Star immediately. So we are going to take Lone Star and dash her out of there so she doesn't get hit by those rockets. Oops. Hopefully that's enough. Don't want a collision. Okay. Let's see, Glitch. I guess we can step you back a little bit. So that this attack is at a... ...good percentage. Then he's running away again, huh? But he's not gonna get very far... ...because Bookworm is right there. And it is a medium mech versus a heavy with a shield. So I could either just block, have Bookworm stand there with a shield and have the mech run into him. Or we could back him up again to here. And then once that mech comes back, we'll just wait him to there. Wait him to there, and then we'll do another melee attack. That's a dash. Do another melee attack right there on him. See if we can get him. And then Malachi. Let's see. Can we have you do something against just for fun? Oh, that's blocked shot. Okay. Uh, what if we run you over to here? We actually don't need you to do anything against this turret. Because if we take over this camp, we kind of want the defensive turret there. 
just narratively speaking, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it doesn't actually have an effect on the gameplay because as far as I can tell, once you take over a province, you have it. Uh, unless the Home Guard loses the war. Ooh, you know what? That's a good point. If the Home Guard loses the war, does this uh, camp revert back to invader control? If so, if I attack it again, will that turret be repaired? That would be something, that'd be an interesting thing to test out. Alright. I think we've got enough. Oh, get out of there! Oh, wow. Oh, that didn't, that didn't work at all. <laughs> uh, it looks like the melee strike worked, however. Okay, we are now in control of Bedrock 9 Camp. We... Collected an ML1 slug. Is that what the enemy was using? No, he was using the ML10 Starburst. Okay, so that is a fast... Those are fast rockets. They caught my fastest mech, even after a dash. I probably should have done two dashes. Did I do two dashes? I don't even remember. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's do... Uh, let's go with a claim. We are 40 over budget. We don't need this shield. We don't need all these grays. We don't need this shotgun. Boom and boom. Oh, we're still five over budget. So if I just dump this completely, that'll put us five under. Those take 15 to claim. So yeah, this is as good as it's gonna get. So ML-10 Starburst, so this is an interesting... Being on the receiving end of this was... Eye-opening, we'll see if... Okay, so now we can contest Hosfred Province. And... I wonder if... I didn't check. I wonder if I had that opportunity to do that... Originally. So let's... Burn toward this place. We will contest the province. What do we have here? A repair convoy at 151. Well, guess what? You're not going to make it to wherever you are... Whatever you were trying to repair. We're going to contest the province. Because when we win this combat, that will reduce their strength here. Are you kidding me? Alright, we're going to burn rubber. What? Oh, I hate it when it does that. Darn. Okay. Okay. I, like, I wish I could select to just catch this. But I can't now, I just blew it. Bummer. What is this up here? We've got a farm. Okay. Alright, so we, we are still heading up here at some point. Uh, because we are contesting the province, all of the uh, strengths of the areas improved considerably. Uh, we could... We could probably try to help this battle site. But what are the targets that the Home Guard has identified? The farm and this cache. So those are the two objectives that they want us to focus on. Alright, so there is a side quest over here, so I think we head this direction then. Are you really coming back for us? Alright. We're just burning rubber here. Oh wow, look at all those enemy units. Holy Toledo. That one's gonna come for us. Nope, he's running. Wow, this guy's coming fast. Ooh, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get there before he catches us. All right, if we block scans, this will reduce... That's what I should have been doing. I should have been building um, the scan blockers. Okay. I don't know. Threat rating 200? I feel like we could probably handle that, but there's a lot of enemies around, so I think we'll go ahead and do that to reduce the amount of damage we're probably going to take. So we'll go with the same configuration. 
six, looks like six enemy units. And there's a supply cache here. Oh, enemy reserve. Hang on. Brought reinforcements. Incoming mission break in. Ambush a guard structure. Yeah, okay. All right. I, I got a little confused there. I, I don't think I've ever seen a supply cache in a base before. I know, the, I know the side mission is to go here, so maybe that's what this is. Maybe I'm just very confused. Okay, so we will do this next fight. Do this fight next episode is what I'm trying to say. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Phantom Brigade. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy the rest of your day, please. See you next time. Oh, uh -huh.